Pokey. Pokey. Oh, there's my knees. Pokey, look at all this stuff on your nose. I think he sticks his nose like right in the food and then he gets. <laughs> mm. Hi, buddy. Can you see the dirt on his nose? Probably not dirt, it's probably food. Oh, there you go. Clean nose. Clean nose. <laughs> You're so patient. You're such a good boy. <gasps> Clean nose. Maybe we want to get a shallow stainless bowl for Pokey too. Maybe yeah. that's why. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't care, but why not? I'm sure it would be more comfortable for him, even though he will literally eat out of anything, including the trash can. <laughs> so it is now the next day. Uh, I don't remember where we stopped filming <laughs> with our Asagao plan, um, but we did eventually take it outside and set it up in a new spot. So that will hopefully take to its new home uh, and start growing its beautiful little vines. Yes, I believe I am wearing the same thing I wore yesterday. It's comfy enough to be like home pajamas, but also looks enough not like pajamas to wear outside. So. <laughs> but we have actually a few more plants to show. This is Pakira, and it was, is it L? Braided? Braided. R. R braided. But I unbraided. Does that yeah. make sense? So that they can grow however which direction they want. It was beautiful and perfect. But while we were gone in America, it got placed outside, which Pakira cannot be in direct sunlight because it burns the leaves. And so almost all of the leaves had to be cut off. I mean, it can grow outside totally fine, but I guess at some point, maybe you didn't have enough water or something. I don't know why. Some of the leaves are still damaged and some are like growing slightly mutated. And Stromanthi? My Stromanthi? So I haven't uploaded this video yet because this is a cat video. I'm, I'm gonna upload the origin story of our stroma- it's not a story. After this video, but I'll go ahead and like put the before in this video. Um, are you going to bring it here yes. or? Okay, then I'll be waiting. So this plant is not for our cats, but it was in the clearance section and it was only a dollar and I feel really, really bad for it because it's so beautiful, but it's dying. And so I figured Probably no one is gonna buy this, even for a dollar, and I wanna try to bring this poor, beautiful boy back to life. This is our Stromanthi. I know it looks really sad right now, but um, it's a rather slow grower. It is doing much better than when we first got it. I had to cut off most of the leaves. Some of them I should probably still cut off. I think a lot of this was probably sun damage. This leaf is new. And you can see he's in, he's still in the process of unfurling and he's in perfect condition. This one had already grown out or had already like begun to grow when we first got it, but it was not yet, I think, damaged. So this is a perfect leaf. This is a new leaf and there are a couple new leaves growing. So we've got a huge one here, this, this big guy. And I just noticed we've got a whole new little stem down here coming out, which makes, which makes me very happy. I'm very excited. I like um, how he prepared the leaves, like curled up. Yeah. Unlike other plants where it just yeah. really spread out and open. This house plant is supposedly somewhat difficult to grow because it requires very high humidity and moist but not wet soil at all times. It's a tropical and plant, right? no direct sunlight, but bright indirect sunlight. So we've had this in our bathroom until now. There were a couple times where even in our bathroom at a certain period of the day it did get a little bit of sunlight and I think that's why this leaf got more damaged than it was um, when we first got it. But now we just keep the curtain we have in there closed and it seems to be getting enough sunlight. Okay, so we can transfer this guy. You wanna climb in the pot, Pokey? <laughs> Two cats in the pokey. Oh, oh. You guys better be sniffing and not looking. All right. So this will be the new Stromanthi pot. Don't like cats. Precious. Aku. Jin said no. <laughs> Maggie, what you doing? 
Oh boy. What if our cats just suffocate themselves? Pokey. Pokey. Pokey, hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> I also got rugs to put underneath. Well, I'm not rugs, little mats to put underneath our chairs so that we don't scratch this floor because apparently uh, everything we do scratches the floor. That's one of the things I wanted to ask you guys. It's a really important question. I need to know how long does it take you after you move into a new place to start damaging it? Like dents in the walls, scratches on the floors. I don't know. I feel like we can't live anywhere without almost immediately damaging it and it really, really bothers me. And I would like to know that I'm not alone. <laughs> June, hello. What happens? What happens when I do this? <laughs> oh my God, I'm so bored waiting for June. <laughs> Is this the weirdest thing that I've put on YouTube so far? Maybe. We got your light, honey. Ooh, we got a ring light. We've never had a ring light before. We've had other lights. We have ordered several things. I was gonna talk about that later in the vlog, but we can go ahead and just interrupt what we're filming now and talk about it now. Um, so we got a couple things. We got this apartment, even though like it's bright to the human eye when we film in here, there's a lot of shadows. So we got more lighting and we got this. Can you open it please? For the first time ever, have da 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 a mic that sits on the top of the camera. I know we probably should have gotten one of these way before now. It seems standard for most YouTubers, but it's really difficult to know what type of equipment is good without knowing someone in person who uses it and knows what they're talking about. Because if you just look up reviews. Even if you're looking at reviews for YouTubers, there are, are like hundreds of people who say, I use this for my YouTube channel, but what kind of YouTube channel do they have? What kind of quality do they have on their channel? I don't know. How am I supposed to trust that review? Um, anyway, we met Norm, uh, Tokyo Lens. He came to our apartment a few days ago and we asked him because he actually knows about audio equipment. And this is what he recommended. I think he's essentially using something very similar. Road. Yeah, let's put it on. Let's put it on now. And then just like halfway through this video, switch the quality of the audio. And you guys can let us know what you think. All right, I can't, I, I'm holding the camera. You have to open it. Uh, do you wanna do this now now yep. instead of that? I wanna do it now now. I wanna switch the audio halfway through this video. Never mind. I think I have to charge her first. So. Um, do we have a USB charger over here hidden in our messy cable spot? We do, but it's full of things. All right, hang on. One of these must be removed, this one. No, I think it needs to be charged. Eh. How do I know if, oh, there we go, charging. Okay, so no quality, no audio quality shift now, but later, later. Sure, Haku, enjoy. Let us transfer this plant now. Back to our originally scheduled programming. Good thing we have enough room. And there is maybe our other ring light. Another thing we decided to try was a ring light that you attach to the front of the camera itself. Um, supposedly, then you would have lighting everywhere you face the camera. Is this going to work? I don't know. It was only $30. Let's try it and find out. So I realized that you cannot use, we cannot use both this and the mic at the same time. So we're gonna have to make a choice, assuming this works. We have different colors. Okay, so it required four AA batteries to power, and it is currently powered. And first I will need to like insert this in, 
on, on here. And then I guess that the ring attaches to this, which means I had to take off our lens protector because I guess we can only have one thing screwed on here at a time. Or can I screw this into our lens protector? Let me, let me, okay. Oh snap, I can. All right, so lens protector back on. And now this, so, somehow this attaches. Oh God, I'm gonna fall. <laughs> okay. There you go, press, press these, these buttons. Okay. When? Turn it on. Oh, oh. It's, up, it's upside down. Here we go. Cool. I guess it doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid it'll be really bright. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god. No, it's so bright. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> this is the I brighter. I see rings everywhere, June. I see rings. Oh, okay. So. Very easy. Ah, oh, good. Okay. And, um, make it, make it like. Oh yeah. That's bright. This it's is so a, bright. I think this is the lowest. No way. No way. Here. Oh my god, I can't see. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, I can't see either. I know this. <laughs> Look at this. Whoa. Everything's bright now. Hey, this yeah. is kind of cool, June. It had a clear one on. Let's put. Just the normal white. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Still bright. Whoop. Less bright, less bright, doable. It is, oh, oh God, no, you can see the edges. You can see the edge, you can see the edges on the camera. Really? Yes, what, what, what do I do? Do I zoom in? Do I always just like zoom in slightly? Do I have the wrong size? I didn't think I had, no, I don't think I have the wrong size. Ah! I can see the edges, June. Okay, so first thing we do, put rocks in the bottom. Actually, this is for almost every plant. We put rocks in the bottom or something that water can like. Hmm? Uh, what's the word? Drains uh -huh. quickly? Yeah. It drains well. It helps the soil drain quickly. And most importantly, so that the roots do not sit in a pool of water. You definitely, you need a pot with holes and then something to help uh, the plant drain water more quickly. Is it okay that it's not covering everything? Okay. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Should we put some more rocks in anyway? Okay, Jimmy's gonna go outside and look for more rocks. Not like on the ground, like rocks we own. Like, Rocks we bought for well, this, this has a lot of holes. exact purpose. Very light. Yeah. These are very porous rocks. It feels very, very light. I can't focus because I only have two hands. No! It doesn't even cover the whole bottom. It doesn't need to. Are you sure? The current one it has like a double pot inside hey i saw in one of my gardening shows for a situation like this they broke up an old pot and then put the shards at the bottom mm -hmm. that's common maybe we can do that all right i'm gonna stop filming until we figure out what to do all right june is going to go get more rocks we have to um mail we have some mail we have to mail anyway and in the meantime i will clean up this mess <laughs> And I guess do dishes. The cats love this Make so sure much. Make sure cats don't mess with these. Yes, I will babysit They're the cats as well. They're very dusty and they like chewing on this. Yes, I know. Oh, wow, this smell. Take the mask. Haku loves this too. Nagi goes in it sometimes. <laughs> oh, look. They're fighting for control of the tube. Wait, how come I don't see the... There we... I do see the edges still a little bit. Dang it, that's annoying. <gasps> Fight!
I shall clean up. Oh, oh god, can't zoom out. I'm gonna see if I can figure out something to do about this not being able to zoom out all the way thing. Oh, oh, not. 